Good afternoon, everyone. It's Miss Amy. It is Friday and it is uh, craft time. So uh, this morning we read uh, The Tooth Mouse by uh, Susan Hood. And um, so today we're going to do two things. We are going to make a, um, a lost tooth pouch really super simple um and we're going to make uh this is the beginnings of this cute little mouse uh craft uh so uh let's start really quick with uh the uh mouth the mouse the lost tooth pouch so here i have a little pouch and i have some embroidery thread and it is super tiny and it's just made out of a piece of scrap and what I have done is actually hot glued it together okay so you have some options you can sew it which I did here really super simple and what I did here is I uh, for this one so for younger kids you could just have them go uh, back and forth across like this so they're literally just going around the outside uh, to seal it and then you flip it or you can actually sew it um, so you stitch uh, just a regular um, straight stitch you could also sew it on the sewing machine if you have kids who sew you can make them on the sewing machine but if you don't and you have hot glue take a strip of uh, fabric turn the front face inside and I have it like this and on the fold and I have a hot glue gun and what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit all along the side and I'm going to just glue it down like that and then do the same thing on the other side straight down a little bit of glue tie all the way so it is glued all the way along okay make sure it's tight all the way like that okay so now that I have it glued what I'm going to do okay so I've got it glued my finger is in there I'm going to flip this so that I get a nice clean edge I probably could have done this part before but I like to do it after and so now uh, it is got a little lip at the top I'm going to put hot glue on that to keep it in like that. Oh, I put way too much because I couldn't see what I was doing. Be careful not to burn yourself, which is what I just did. And I'm just going to put a little teeny bit so I can see on this side teeny bit on there. I'm going to glue it and okay I'm gonna get some of that glue because there is way too much off there. Okay so now make sure it's not glued together on the inside I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna turn it inside out and then I'm gonna show you the last little part okay I'm gonna let that dry and let that one dry yep okay 
So while that dries, I am and and seals, I'm going to show you how to make this. So this is now okay. I have a yellow piece of paper. This is going to be my cheese. I am gonna hold it on the fold and cut. So it's like Swiss cheese, okay? So this is kind of like a card, but this is what helps it stand up. Uh, you can draw circles and cut them out. You could um, glue um, black paper circles that you cut out onto this, or you can actually um, punch some out. I happen to have a puncher, so I can easily put some um, some Swiss cheese out of this one. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go like this. One more up here. I'm going to do one more tiny one up here. Okay, so now I have Swiss cheese, okay, and then with a triangle, okay, this is going to be your mouse. I'm going to fold over the top, okay, that's the head of my mouse, and then what I'm going to do with the bottom is I'm going to cut arms out of it, kind of just up. Okay, so there's your arms. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the hands over, maybe cut a little bit more off the end of them because I don't want sharp ones. And then I uh, have ears. Okay, so I have ears out of the, the brown or the gray. I have pink for the inside of my ears, which I'm going to use a glue stick to put down like that. There's one ear and two ears. Okay, I'm going to use the glue stick to Glue them right on the back. So here we go. There's one. There's two. Okay, so there's my ears on my mouse. And then I, I have whiskers. I have just three little tiny little strips of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little craft glue on this one, but you could use Elmer's or you can just use a glue stick or you can use regular glue or even hot glue for that matter. And I am going to put my whiskers in like that. Three whiskers so that they're all in three whiskers, and then my nose. Okay, and then I have some googly eyes, which I'm going to put right here. Googly eye, googly eye, like that. Okay, there are my googly eyes, and then I'm going to open this up. Okay, so here's my little mouse. I'm going to open it up and put my mouse right on my cheese. Okay, so there's your mouse. Now, back to the little pouch. What I'm going to do now is I am going to flip this around. So I'm going to take a pencil and go like this and 
and flip it right in so that I can turn it around like that. Okay, push it out. And it can be a little thicker. If it's a little thicker, it's easier. But, so here is my little pouch, okay? Hot glued together. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I have a needle threaded with uh, embroidery thread and I am going to just go right below and I'm gonna go in and out and in and out all the way around. I'm gonna go just a little bit more and this is gonna create my tie until I get there. And there we go. So I have gone all the way around, in and out, in and out. And when I pull, I get a little draw string pouch. So if you sew, you can do it with sewing. If you don't, you can do it with uh, hot glue. Uh, it works either way. Super cute. So if you've lost a tooth, you can put that under the pillow. Have fun making a mouse. Happy weekend. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy.